Hello everyone, this video I hope will give you some idea of the game releases that are happening this August that you might be interested in playing. First off, there's Cult of the Lamb. It's an action roguelike game developed by Massive Monster and published by Devolver Digital. It will be available on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Nintendo Switch and the release date is the 11th of August. Cult of the Lamb casts players in the role of a possessed lamb saved from annihilation by an ominous stranger and must repay their debt by building a loyal following in his name. Cleanse the non-believers, spread enlightenment and perform mystical rituals on the journey to become the mighty Lamb God. Next up, there's Saints Row. It's an action-adventure game and reboot of the Saints Row series. It's created by Volition and published by Deep Silver. It will be released on PC, PlayStation, Xbox and Google Stadia on the 23rd of August. It's set in a vibrant fictional city in the American Southwest. In a world rife with crime, a group of young friends embark on their own criminal venture as they rise to the top in their bid to become self-made. As the future boss, you'll form the saints and take on Los Panteros, the idols and marshal as you build your empire across the streets of Sant Ileso, Santo Leso, I'm not sure how you say that and I'm sorry if I've pronounced that totally wrong and battle for control of the city. Ultimately, Saints Row is the story of a startup company. It's just that the business the Saints happen to be in is crime. Soul Hackers is my third entry. It's a role-playing video game developed and published by Atlas. It's the sequel to Devil Summoner Soul Hackers that was released way back in 1997 and is the fifth instalment of the Devil Summoner series. It will be released on the 26th of August on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Investigate the end of the world. Explore a supernatural RPG with stylish summoners and dark dangers lurking under the neon sights of a cyberpunk Japan. Amidst the glimmer of neon lights, technological advancement causes humans to be consumed by commercial convenience. In the shadows, a war between the Yatagarasu and the Phantom Society is brewing, devil summoners who harness the otherworldly powers of demons. Existing in the secrecy of humanity's data, a digital hive mind has evolved into sentience, Aeon. Observing humankind from afar, Aeon calculates that a world-ending disaster is imminent and creates two agents to combat against it, Ringo and Fig. Together, these agents of Aeon must investigate and prevent a butterfly effect that will lead to the end of the world. It's up to these agents to decrypt destiny and save the world from apocalypse. My fourth entry is Arcade Paradise, a 90s field retro arcade adventure game. Developed by Nosebleed Interactive and published by Wired Productions, it will be available on PC, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. You play as Ashley and you run the family laundromat. You decide to transform the business and give the sleepy town of Grindstone something to get excited about. Stay one step ahead of your father, manage and invest profits and build your very own arcade paradise. Take the laundromat business made up of dull chores from washing clothes to throwing out the trash and turn it into a booming arcade with the coolest games in town raking in all the money. Over 35 arcade games, each fully realised with its own gameplay, stories, missions and high scores to set. Insert a second coin and play against a friend in a number of cooperative and competitive arcade games with up to four players locally. Prove yourself across each game, set your high scores, make your favourite arcade game more popular and upload to the online leaderboards. Arcade Paradise will release on the 11th of August. My fifth entry is Thymesia, developed by Overboarder Studio and published by Team 17. The once thriving kingdom of Hermes has fallen to an age of calamity. 
Seen as the answer to all the kingdom's ailments, alchemy became a widely used practice across the land, with denizens welcoming it into the homes, using it to enhance and heal as they saw fit. When the price of alchemy became too steep, attempts to halt its use were made, each as woefully unsuccessful as the last with the catastrophic consequences felt across the realm. Corvus is the kingdom's final hope, the fate of Hermes resting in his feathered hands. The truth is buried deep in the memories Corvus left scattered throughout the punishing world, and only by collecting these memories can the kingdom be saved, but each time he dives back in, trying to piece together the truth, all he finds is more secrets. Tharmesia is a gruelling action RPG with fast-paced combat and an intricate plague weapon system. It will be available on PC and released on the 18th of August. My penultimate entry is Tiny King, developed by Splash Team and published by Tiny Build. Tiny King releases on the 30th of August on PC, Xbox, PlayStation and Nintendo Switch. It's a 3D platform game in which you play as Milo, a young astronaut visiting Earth. The problem is that the planet is abandoned and Milo has been reduced to the size of an ant. Catch hundreds of mysterious Tinykin and use their unique powers to create ladders, bridges, explosions and a lot more. In order to find his way back, he has to set off on a journey through the Great House, which holds the key to solving Earth's greatest mystery. Last, and most certainly not least, is one game that I am particularly looking forward to. Two Point Campus, delivered by Two Point Studios and published by Sega. As regular viewers will know, I just adore Two Point Hospital. Link in the top right corner now, if you want to watch some of the gameplay. So I've been chomping at the proverbial bit, waiting to get my hands on this game. Two Point Campus is a business simulation game which tasks you to build and manage university campus. It will be released on PC, Nintendo Switch, PlayStation and Xbox on the 9th of August. In the game, you must build various educational rooms, such as classrooms, lecture halls, libraries, as well as organising different cultural events and extracurricular activities. You will also need to appoint staff, such as lecturers, teaching assistants and janitors. In addition to maintaining the operation of the campus, you must take care of the well-being of your students. If a student enjoys their nightlife too much, they might not attend classes the following day. Unlike Two Point Hospital, in which patients leave the hospital once they're cured, the students in Two Point Campus will stay for a much longer time. Each student has their own specific needs and they will either succeed, fail or drop out of school. There are many more games out for release in August, but I have shown you here seven that I think are worth making a note of. Let me know in the comments if any of these games interest you, and if there are any other games that are released in August that you'll be playing. While you're in that area, please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel if you've yet to do so, as there will be more video game content to come. Thank you for watching, have a fabulous remainder of your day. Ciao for now!